Hello and welcome to Stream Tabulous. Today I want to talk about photos that are made up of dots like you'd see in a newspaper. I'm going to show you how to remove or at worst case reduce those dots. Uh, this works particularly well on a portrait image. So welcome to the show. Welcome back and let's get started. So first off, I use the app called Photor to um, blur the image. Uh, Photor is the little rainbow icon that we can see there. Uh, I use an old version of Photor because the new version of Photor is completely different. Uh, now to get a hold of old versions, you can download them and sideload them onto your phone. Uh, if you know the version that you're searching for. So if you go back to the first episode, you'll see a list of the apps I use and the versions of the apps, um, the numbers. So I, you can also use this program called Aptoid that I've just brought up on the screen here. You can download that from Google and so sideload it to your phone and it works like the Play Store but it gives you the option to install older versions of apps. So you can also use something like that and let's get back to it and we're just going to open up photor here on the screen and we're going to go to edit and then we're going to go albums up the top there i'm going to scroll down to my image there we go That is the image. There we go. Okay. Okay, this is the image here. You may not notice all the dots on the screen just because of the compressed resolution. But I'm going to show you a quick and easy way now. If you've got another app on your phone that will blur the image, uh, that's all we're going to do is we're going to blur up that image. So I'm going to go to sharpness and then we're going to reduce that sharpness. We'll apply it with a tick. And we'll go back into the basics and we'll go back into sharpness and we will reduce it more and we'll just keep repeating this until the image is significantly blurred now this image is nice and um, contrasty it's got a lot of dark tones to it which is what you want so if you find an image which um, is washed out and gray You'll also want to bring up the contrast and bring down the brightness until you get um, this, this sort of um, deep tones. And the reason we want that is because of the so-called AI tools, which are scripts. They look for those contrastings to enhance the image, and we want that. So we're just going to keep going here. We want to blur this up quite a bit until those dots are just absolutely merged with each other by the blur okay so we've got a, a good looking image there that's pretty good i'm just going to blur a few more times so we just want to keep blurring it until until we don't really see the dots there we go that's that's fantastic now it actually looks better on the uh, screen than it does on the uh, mobile phone um that's probably just due to the way the monitor is but uh, still this image is pretty bad and we're going to show you how to restore it from there. So we're going to save that image. Once the image is saved, we're going to exit. And I am going to give this uh, a quick color first. So I'm going to use Mint AI. Mint AI is usually my go-to with uh, coloring a photo. So we're going to open up Mint AI. We're going to go down to the colorize below the screen because it's going to bring up my gallery now hopefully this is yep there it is it's the uh, first one in the recent gallery so we'll open that up press ok you'll usually be waiting for an ad i'm in flight mode so some apps uh, have the ads built into them other apps um, stream those so if you're on flight mode it won't stream okay that's not a bad colorization. It's a, um, you know, you can, it, it's got room for improvement, which we'll get to next. So we want to hit our save, little blue arrow at the bottom there. Uh, download successful. Always make sure that that comes up. 
I went exit and we're going to go into a app to sharpen it up now sometimes i'd use mint ai but today i thought we would try the uh, remini uh, and that usually allows uh, five free a day so um you know you're probably not going to be doing that many uh, photos a day uh, particularly with uh, time involved that you may want to spend to actually store the photos so i find the free version is quite enough for all we need to do so I'm going to open that up. It's probably going to go into my gallery. Let's find out. Okay. Yep. It's done the all photos, so it should be the most recent if I can find them. Scrolling. Looking. Ah, there it is there. Okay. So I have clicked the photo that I want to open after finding it, and I'm going to click Enhance Face. <laughs> there is no environment. We're going to hit Face Beautifier, and we're just going to hit Enhance from there. And it's going to go through, and we'll give that a moment. Uh, some of these are online, so and others use the uh, phones to restore it. This one's using the phone CPU and processing power, which is great. And we can see from there, before we come through we can see that photo is significantly restored and more importantly the dots are gone like they are completely gone on this image there may be uh, a little bit of discoloring and um like skin imperfections on the chest which we can also address so we will save this image and wait for it to come up it is saved to the gallery so we can now exit this and we can open it up in a different app now we're going to open that up in airbrush because we're just going to do some work with the colors of the uh, image and uh, see what we can do with some more contrasting on the face and eyelashes and that so let's get into airbrush at the bottom there we have library so we're going to open that up and it's going to go into my gallery and we're going to find that saved image which i believe Ah, there we go. It's in pictures. So I've come down there, and that's where Remy has saved it. And we can see that on there. Right. Uh, have to do, do, do. There is a smoothing tool in here which we can use to smooth that out. And you can go smoother, and you can. Actually get that and you want to follow the uh, the lines always follow the lines of an image so you don't want to go uh, across like up through it because if you go up like that it can um, distort the line because uh, when you're uh, using the smooth tool it's just ever so slightly smudging with a, uh, a light opacity which is something you do in something like paint shop pro or uh, photoshop as well so it's going to come through now all concentration when we're looking at an image is on the face so the face is where we want to concentrate our work today so having a look at that it's great we can come back through and we touch that up later if we want we're just going to go clean and quick today we go into the skin tones um again we just may have gone too fast there so we just scroll across until we find our skin tones we click our skin tones we hit auto we're just going to look at our image now you can see there it actually went over so if we go eraser and brush we can actually see where it's gone over so we can come through and choose eraser and just erase that line there and that line there which we don't want with an added skin tone go to brush make sure we're happy okay beautiful and we take it off, delay on the screen, we apply it. Now, again, I'm using the uh, a purple, which I've actually made. Uh, you may want to use different colors. So we're going to lighten that off a bit. And that looks good to me. So we will save that. After we've done it, you can do multiple layers of the skin tone if you need to. So you can do the browns and um, something like the purple and mix it up to get a better skin tone to um, what that person had, uh, if need be. 
so we'll come through here we'll add a tone to the lips with this um, auto lipstick just helps to define those lips a little bit more I mean, we can go darker if you want so just bring it off to there uh, i always apply and then go back in uh, rather than apply them all at the end and that's just so i don't make a mistake and i'm happy and it's easier just to uh, step back if need to so we'll do the nose we'll add those contrasts in there that's going to help define the nose so we'll apply that and we'll come back in we'll go to contours again and take a look at young which is doing the uh, top bridge of the nose there and a little bit of white here and here which is helping to enhance the cheeks so you can do that in paint shop pro by brushing in uh, darker colors as well okay so we're going to apply that one we'll go back in we'll have a look at uh, the contours again uh, we'll have a look at sculptured which is going to um, put darker tones on the outside of the cheek just to highlight and bring out the cheek lines uh, we'll apply that we'll come back in we'll go to the eyebrows we'll find an eyebrow across the bottom here which matches uh, our subject and we'll click one which is similar we'll drag that up okay beautiful done a little bit darker on those eyebrows now now we'll come to eyelashes we'll come in it's actually done a really good job on the eyelashes but we're going to add some more to it so let's wait for it to um, stream to the uh, screen we have a before and then there's the before and then we have our after which will apply now and that's that done so and that's all we're going to do with this one i think uh yeah i might just uh, take a look at the eyeliner and come in here in the case and the basic eyeliner helps to define the eyes so we're just going to do that ever so lightly okay and then we're going to save our image again and then we'll exit this app okay now from here we can decide which other app that we want to go into next. So we can either go into Facetune, but I think we're going to go into uh, Lumi, um, which is our background removing tool. That I find. We want to see how this is going to go removing the background so we can put a better looking background in. First image in our gallery, which is this one where it's already done all the eyes and whatnot to it. We come across the bottom here to background. We press replace background and then we wait. Now we'll need to go to the eraser picture on the side here and we will need to paint back in what it's erased so we'll find a nice size and we want to paint in areas that were erased that we don't want erased. Okay, okay let's press the tick and there's a little um, square on the bottom right corner there. Uh, which shows us the before and after so we can use that and we can determine if it's cropped off stuff that we don't want cropped and i am satisfied with that and we will go to our gallery from there which is the little white squares which will bring up my folder with my gallery images that i use for background replacement and we'll come through and find a background to put into this now there's all sorts of ones that we can choose from we can also pinch and zoom the image just to crop off that white border that existed. So we can do something like that. Press the delete and we'll take a look at one of the other backgrounds. Now this background has the thorn tones to it and I've mentioned before I like to choose the backgrounds which um, very closely match what we're actually seeing there because they usually they usually look more like uh, the original image and they don't um, take away too much from the subject and they don't look too fake so we just got to come through and find one which is uh, usable it's not too bad but keep come through so we just play with these backgrounds until I find one that I'm happy with oh, yeah that's not bad Oh, 
Hold up. I pinch it. Zoom it out. Move it around a bit. Yeah, I like that one. So we'll apply that to the image and then we'll save the image. And from there, we will swipe off and move into our next app, which is going to be Facetune. So open that up. Top corner of the phone in the left, it will take us to our album and we will see the images that we have on our phone. So we want to find the one that we just did. Um, the first four for me are not the image, it is the fifth one. So it's gone by a main gallery, probably the gallery that it's saving to first, and then it's going from the uh, most recent from there. So we'll open that up and we have our picture open. Now we can address the eye colors if we want. So we can go to say a gray eye Put that in, bring some whiteness to the outside of those eyes, just to make them pop a bit more. Uh, you can bring up some details to the eyes, which is uh, basically just like the white reflection that you get from sunlight. So I'm happy with that. We'll apply that. Now the hair. This app is my favorite for hair. Um, if you've seen the other two episodes, I'll probably mention that, that it is the best for doing the layering of the hair and uh, bringing out the highlights and the uh, strands. And I like to layer it, so uh, with a dark hair, I'll usually do a brown. I'll bring the glow all the way up. I'll bring the blend usually halfway down. And then I'll apply that, and then I will go back in. And I'll assume this person had a, uh, a dark blacky hair. So you really want to ask from the person that um, posted the image. This one's already been restored by myself. This is me picking it to... Um, used to show how to remove dots so that's great so we do our adjustments until we're happy and we save close we'll go in there and we'll see how it goes picking up the clothes it's done a great job highlighting that we can see by going to the paint tool that it's actually highlighted and we can just come through zoom in by pinching and just erase that line there to recreate the blouse line maybe come in a bit more and just raise that down paint that a little bit in there tiny little bit there okay let's see that will do so we'll come to details we'll take a look at that now we can probably smooth that out if we want to. So we might just leave that where it is. Saturation, I'm going to bring it down because we want the white to come out on that clothing. We're going to go white. Bring that white level up. Okay. So quick and easy. It's just a nice basic one there. So take that. I'll save my uh, white tones. Okay, done. So that's fantastic. I'm not seeing much else that we want to do there. We will save that. We shall exit this and I'm going to add that uh, vintage shadow that we talked about in the previous one and uh, for that I use Pixay. Now I have the pro version, I think I got it for $3 back in uh, 2016 or something like that. I've had it for a long time, uh, definitely recommend it. Um, the free version just doesn't have um, weird little add-ons. So we're just going into the gallery there, we're going to find that image. Now we know Facetune has its own folder, so we'll open up the Facetune folder. We'll click on our image. We want to leave it at the highest resolution possible. We'll go into Effects. We'll go down to the bottom and we'll head up until we see the vintage. And then we're actually, it's applied to where I would say I'm happy with it, to be honest. It's before, it's after. Bring it out a little bit. that's done so very quick very easy and that's how we uh, can remove the dots from an image quick and easy and um, restore the photo to something which is a thousand times better than what it was so we'll export this photo and save it to the pixay folder for me but that's it it is done 
So quick and easy. Um, it's something that you can do yourself. And, uh, that's basically it. Uh, you can do that with uh, anything on a portrait photo, which is covered in dots. You can um, you can use it some degree with a um, an image which is a full body portrait, uh, but you may find the clothing blur. Uh, we can I will show a method on doing that another time where we take the face off one image and we overlay it onto the other image so we can do separate layers to uh, rebuild those clothes. Uh, but yeah, remember to like, subscribe and get the bell on to watch more episodes on photo uh, restoration straight from your Android phone, quick and easy with free apps, um, ad apps and whatnot. And uh, yeah, we'll eventually get more complicated as we go, which means some of these videos may be in multiple parts. So uh, yeah, get the bell on and stay tuned to uh, see the next video.